That's supposed to be a plus four. No. Yeah, there you go. It's supposed to be the same mouse. Okay, let's go ahead and um, <coughs> bless you, bless you. So let's go and take a look at this example. So the limit. Now we recognize this and we automatically notice, oh, this is not a continuous function. That's a rational function, right? Yeah. So we know that there is a discontinuity, either an asymptote or a whole. So rather quickly, I could factor this just to kind of like better understand what's going on. Bless you. All right, so we could distribute this. We could simplify this to the limit as x approaches 0 of x minus 2. Now, some of us get into this mindset of always simplifying, simplifying, which is good because that's what we've taught. However, when we recognize, so we know that there's a discontinuity at x equal to negative 1. There's a hole at x equals negative 1, right? However, what are we at? What is the question asking? The question is asking, what is the function approaching when x is equal to 0? Is 0 a discontinuity of this graph? No. no. So there's nothing wrong with simplifying it in this format. But couldn't you just plug in 0 in from the beginning and just simplify it from there? So therefore, we get negative 4 over 2, which is equal to negative 2. So the answer, the limit of x squared minus 4 divided by x plus 2 is negative 2. Now again, what if you did it from here? Right? So you guys can see that answer is the same as our original answer. So there's nothing wrong with simplifying it. But my point that I'm trying to make to you is look at your function. Just because it's discontinuous doesn't mean, like, look at where the limit is. The limit's at 0. The discontinuity was at negative 2. You could have just applied direct substitution. You didn't have to go through all that work, right? That helps understand what? what? Here? X minus two equals yeah. Minus two. No, I didn't. No, it equals negative two. You just plug in zero. This graph looks like this. X minus two. No, the limit as x approaches no, zero of x. of x minus two That's is equal to negative two. The limit of x squared minus 4 divided by x plus 2 is equal to negative 2. If you want to plug this in your graphing calculator and look at where it approaches at 0, you'll see it's at negative 2. But to, for to save some time, I'm not going to do that. But you could easily check your work with that. So I know it's why it's that. I just didn't understand that. Yeah. 